How can one start applying themselves to move up the caste system? And the second question from a colleague, I feel more ambitious spiritually, but my lack of material ambition has caused money issues. I have since developed pursuits with wealth but I am still struggling in poverty. My skills have remained unnoticed and unrecognized, despite even wanting to make my unique contribution to the world. Where might I begin to remedy this from a magical perspective? The first thing you need to do is to combine your two questions into one. Because if you achieve the results you have planned, you will move up in the caste system. But if you don't move towards the results, you won't move to a higher caste. Why is that? Because you can only move up in the caste hierarchy by gaining and accumulating existential volume, by gaining and accumulating useful experience. And that always happens, firstly, over time, and secondly, in order to gain it, you can't just lie on the couch, you have to do some kind of real productive action. And that real productive action has to be done, even if it does not seem productive to you. The point is that every new action you take is a symbolic paving of a new path, a symbolic walking along the path that has so far been uncharted. Such a path is always difficult to follow. And until you get to the first crossroads where you can turn off or somehow adjust your route, you are walking completely alone and with absolutely no result. Very seldom does it happen that on this first step, on this first path of testing, a person gets some results. Usually he doesn't get any, because he follows the path that tests his resistance and, above all, his firmness and faithfulness to his beliefs and convictions. On this path you must answer the question of the guardians of this path, what is more important to you? Staying true to your own beliefs and convictions, or the effect you will gain from every step you take on this path? And if you choose your uniqueness, your own unique path, then you have to take it for granted that you will go to the next crossroads without any effect. And while you're studying, neither your bank account nor your wallet will be replenished. On the contrary, you will have to invest. A person who is still in the process of learning is rarely able to start building up financial reserves. Usually he is unable to do so, and the learning process is always followed by debts, expenses, a half-starved existence, and, at some point, it is followed by total disappointment in the chosen path of life. But if you are able to handle it, if you are able to overcome it, then the moment you reach the next crossroads, the next point where you can recharge, you will have the opportunity either to choose and follow another beaten path for a while, or to continue your path under different conditions, to continue your path with greater strength. That's when you start to build your capital, and you make profit not only from every step you take now, but from all your previous steps, because someone has already started walking your steps, someone is following you step by step. And every such step that someone takes on the path that you have laid out makes your name more significant. This means that literally every step someone takes on your path will bear your name. And that name, after a while, will start to bring you material support. I'm not saying you'll get huge millions, no, but you'll start to get financial support. So if you are always true to your convictions, if you go down an uncharted path, a new path that no one has gone before, but many will go after you, the environment will begin to reward you for what you have done. Unfortunately, many people do not even make it to the first crossroads.
They either turn off the path or they just fall down and think. I'll probably lie here for a while, maybe someone will come along and carry me in his arms. And they end up just lying there. Because paving a completely new and unique path is always very difficult. It is easier to follow someone else's steps, it is much easier because it takes less effort. You just have to repeat the sequence of steps, what could be easier? And when you walk alone, you're always walking into the unknown, and there's nothing but uncharted territory in front of you, and at first you don't even see that there's a road and a crossroad somewhere in front of you, where you can take a break, recharge, change the route a little bit, see the further way, or for example, make a new agreement with the forces, the guardians of these realities, and get a new front of work, a new program to work on. You don't see what's in front of you, maybe there's nothing out there, but you keep going anyway. Because you really have to. Because the uniqueness is more important to you than the effect. But if the effect is more important to you, then the spirits of the road will most likely make you lose your way and wander, always coming back to the same point. Because according to a study of walking in circles, you will always turn in a certain direction and move in circles, over and over again, retracing your own steps and crossing your own routes. But that's only if you're looking for a more down-to-earth option than having to forge new paths. That will be my answer to you, colleague.